Hello and welcome to the short screencast tutorial on Elegant Hosting. I'm just going to go through how I set up the demo and the content which appears in the demonstration. So this is the home page and I've also got the WordPress admin loaded up. So first thing I did was an added hosting plan. So to do that, go into your hosting plans add new. I'll just show you what I've added. So you put the title, obviously quite standard. Content which appears on the single page which I'll show you. Content appears here as standard next to the features on the left. Next thing to do is add a price with the currency, an order link, which is this right here, and select the color between blue, green, orange, and red. I've also got a slogan box here. It's not used in the template, but I've included it just in case I um, add an updated version with a different type of slider on the front page. After that, you need to add the categories or you know the features which your hosting plans have. I've already got categories added in each, each taxonomy they're called. So bandwidth got 256, 100, 500. So when you first download the theme you're going to have to add your own categories. So add on domains for example if you want to offer 30 just add 30. and make sure only one box is checked. The only other thing you need to take into account is for cPanel, SSH and the support and reseller you need to create a category which is titled yes and check it if the feature is included or do not check it if it's not. These are yes and no features. That's it for adding a hosting plan. Next thing you want to do is set up the featured area here on the front page. So for these, you add a featured slide. If you go into slide 2, you can see what I've added. You put the title, description, and then below you select which um, which slides, which sorry, which plans you wish to show. So the only other thing you need to take into account is the little radio box here. This signifies which, if you see here, best is slightly bigger and it's highlighted. That's because it's selected here as the featured one. You need to select one, otherwise the width of the whole container is kind of skewed. Moving on from that, I think we'll go, I'll just go through the custom post types first. Adding testimonials, very simple, just title, content, and featured image. You can also include name and company and a rating of 5. Adverts. These are these key clients shown down here. So simply title, content, featured image. That's the image it's going to be. And the advert link, we're just going to link towards. It's on the right here. Now, next thing to do, I'll show you the, the home page. So first thing I've done, I created a, I created a page with a template selected as home page. Next thing you need to do is go into settings, reading, and select your front page as a static page, front page, home page. As for the actual content on the home page, if we take a look, we have four icons. Then we have the domain search, domain lookup. Then we have two halves, one with client testimonials, one with standard features, and then we have key clients, which is split into five. So, first thing is the four icons. 
do that. First of all, we have a short code for splitting into fours, which is quart. Next, we add our icons in the format. We have icon title, where obviously you put the title, and image, which is the path to the icon which you wish to use. So to do that, you add go to add media and upload files. Select the file, and then on the right, I'll just show you. Once it's loaded, you copy this here, which is the path, and paste it in here as the image path. So we do this for four different icons. We also have the content, which is between the opening and closing icons. We do that four times, and that creates our four icons. Next thing is the domain lookup. That is simply domain look short code. This loads a PHP file which you have in your folder called domain look. You need to add your own domain lookup code here assuming you have a, ver a way of doing it. Possibly WHMCS. After that we have the two halves. So the first half we have half last equals empty. In other words two opening closing heading to and then testimonial list center equals true testimony ID 37 testimony ID 46 and then the closing half so I'll just run through that the half splits into half obviously last the fact that it's um, open means it's not the last one it is heading to is the standard heading tag which is shown here it's how to style it like that then we open up a testimonial list and we select the testimonials. The testimonial ID is the post ID for the testimonial. So we see 37 here. If I hover over this, it shows at the very bottom post equals 46. That's the link you're going to link to. So that's testimonial 46, this one here. On the second one, this is the last half, which uh, th this is used for the padding because if it's the last one, the padding doesn't have the same on the right side. So you put true for that, same type of heading, and then we just have an unordered list with each feature. That's explained a little bit in the HTML readme. After that, we have a uh, clear shortcode. This isn't always used, but I just use it here anyway. If you have floated elements, sometimes you have problems with the content expanding vertically. If that's the case, use a clear, which is easy. Next thing to do, we have the key clients and then a client list. So another shortcode, we have open up the client list and then we add each client separately. So ID 49, ID 122, ID 124. This is split into fives, fifths. The only other option we have is an icon for the title, which I have not included. But if you go into, say, the About Us page, this is that icon image it's referring to. You can add whichever one you want or none at all. Other short codes which I need to run through are well on the domain lookup we have this tabbed version that is accomplished by domain tab. That's only one. And on the hosting plan We have a white box, a plan overview, and a plan comparison. So, first of all, we open up a full width shortcode. That just means the content is going to be full width. We add the white box with the content inside that white box here. 
and closed. Next we add the plan overview. So to do that you first just like the shortcuts on the home page, we open up the general list which is overview, then add each plan separately with the tag overview plan and then the ID of the plan. Same sort of idea as the testimonial. And that you go in there, you see which ID the plan is that you've added in hosting plans, and you add it in here. For our com plan comparison, it's the same thing as before, except we change the overview to comparison. So we've got the opening comparison, then we have comparison plan. ID 25, ID 4. We get the picture. The only other thing is on the overview, you should include a uh, feature equals true for the highlight one, just like on the home page. That should be it for short codes, I believe. The only other ones that you can use are third and two third, which is like here. Two third is this, and third is this. Use it in the exact same way as you use um, the halves as shown on the home page. Nice thing to show is the general way that these plans work. So, if you click on sign up now, this takes you automatically to a hosting plans page, which is a page template called hosting plans, funnily enough. You can find the PHP file in the WordPress folder. And as standard, this area here is kept separately in an after plan PHP that's in the Elegant Hosting WordPress theme folder, which you can edit. And the only other thing is standard this plan overview shows up here and the content which you put on the WordPress admin shows up on the right. Alternatively, this page could actually be accomplished just by you know using the short codes. So you've got a heading two here, you've got the plan um comparison here, and then you've got the white box with the content and then the features below. So you could accomplish this all manual if you really want to. The only other thing which is added automatically is this navigation here. So this is just a menu position. Wait, I'll show you. If you go into the theme menus, we have three positions. So main menu is this one right here. Inner menu is this. So this shows up on the single hosting plans pages. So you can put in, you know, the other options, like I've done here. And finally, we have the blog menu, which is the same as this, but it shows up on archive pages such as the blog. So you can put in subcategories. All right, what else is left to explain? Well, the footer here. This is a sidebar, so if you go into widgets to accomplish what I've got in the demonstration, you include a recent blog post and give it a title. That's a custom widget there to style it like this, which has the featured image on the left, which is scaled. Then we have a custom menu here, custom menu, and a really simple Twitter which is a plugin which you can download to add the latest tweet and finally the about us is simply just custom HTML to put in an image but this is all put in the footer sidebar funnily enough the other options are archive single and sidebar oh sorry archive single and page so what that means is about us as a page so if you want a sidebar to be included on the page it will go automatically onto the third here and then the content of your page will be in a two thirds area to the left the same thing on a post it will be in a third which will be displayed down here and then the main content on the left on the actual archive page like a blog that be displayed below the post due to the nature of the way the posts are displayed and 50% um, columns so it will be displayed down here hmm. 
So the next thing I guess uh, is how to set up the bog. So first thing is uh, post category. I created a category called blog and I included an icon, a path to the icon which is this right here. So just a normal category with the icon. Then I created subcategories, internet news and special offers. And in the menu I simply added a link to the category. So the blog category here with the subcategories underneath. Posts are added as any post would be. If your category is on the right, the featured image, and also, well, that's it, I guess. You've got the characters on the right, image, tags, anything you want, just as you would that. I'll post anything else. I also use the more tag here to signify what gets shown on the actual blog page. Next thing we look at is um, the very few theme options which are included. First thing is the contact form link. If you want it to show, you check it. If you don't, don't. That simply adds the contact link here with the drop down contact form. The contact form is edited in exactly the same way as the HTML, so check the HTML readme for that. You just change your details in the file. Next thing is the footer, which just allows you to add links to your social profiles. That simply displays down here in the bottom. That should be it for the basic setting up. Uh, I can't think of anything else. The only thing which you you may wish to you may wish to add or change are the taxonomies. So, seeing hosting plans here, as standard, I've added all these taxonomies. But say you you wish to add something else. Can't think of an example, but if you have another category or feature which your, you know, your hosting can have, you're gonna have to do that manually by adding certain lines of code to PHP files. If you check the the same YouTube channel, Screencast Tutorials or Screencast Tour, you should be able to find a video I did for the modern hosting theme I have on Word uh, Theme Forest, and adding and changing the Taxonomies is exactly the same in this template as that, so consult that video. There is also some information in the WordPress README regarding it. Other than that, it should be relatively straightforward. Uh, I've just gone shown through all the short codes, the general way the hosting plans work. Uh, can't think of anything else. Well, if there is anything else, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, good luck and send me an email if you have any problems. Thank you.